Want to transform your video clip with Generative Fill? Follow along and I'll show you how to transform this scene using Generative Fill and motion tracking using Photoshop and After Effects. Let's dive into it. So I have my clip here in After Effects of an old car on a nice, beautiful moving shot. So first thing I'm gonna do is export my first frame to Photoshop. So I'll go to Composition, Save Frame As, Photoshop Layers. Now I'll jump over to Photoshop Beta and I'll start my work in here. So I wanna make it seem like this car has broke down. So what I'll do is I'll select the hood portion of this car and I'll click Generative Fill. And I'm gonna type Engine Hood Open and I'm gonna see what it comes back with. Okay, a little funky. I'll try to generate more options to see what it looks like. Okay, better options to choose from here. All right, so I'll select the first one here. Now I'll select the front bumper and I'm gonna type in bumper falling off. Okay, so I'll select the third option here. So now I wanna create a creepy mansion house hotel sort of thing in the background. So I'll select the area and I'll click generative fill and I'll type in spooky hotel. All right, this one looks good. Nice light. Let's try to make it a bit more spooky. So I'll select the front part and I'm gonna type abandoned. Okay, so I'll select the third option here. Let's give it some creepy vines or trees. Okay, that's good for now. I could go a little further with it, but let's save it like this for now. So I'm gonna save my PSD and I'm gonna jump back to After Effects. Okay, so I actually organized my layers here so it's a bit easier to motion track. So I have my car pieces on one layer and my mansion in the back. What I did was I just merged them in Photoshop and then I brought it into After Effects. As you can see, as the clip plays, the still layers still need to be tracked. So I'll select my main clip and I'll go to Animation, Track in Boris FX Mocha. Then in my Effect Controls, I'll click on the Mocha icon. So now we're in Mocha. So first I'll select the X-Spline tool right here and I'll pick a few high contrast portions of my car. So now I have to make sure that I align the surface. So this blue box in the middle here should be the full size of the composition in this case. So I'll select Align Surface. So it's now on the edges of the first frame and it matches the composition's parameters. So now I'll hit the Track Forward button and we'll speed this up for your viewing pleasure. So now you'll see the blue box changes positions as time goes on, which is good. That's what we want. So now I'll jump back to my first frame and I'll create a new track layer and I'll select some more high contrast points here. And I'll select align surface again, and I'll track forward. I'll speed this up. And I'll just rename these layers. And I'll hit save. And I'll jump back to After Effects. And in Effect Controls, I'll drop down Tracking Data, and then I'll click on Create Track Data. And I'll start with the car layer. So under Layer Export, I'll change to Car Details Layer, and I'll click on Apply Export. As you can see, it's tracking perfectly. So now I'll do it again for the Mansion Layer. and it's looking really good. So now we'll take it one step further. We have a clip of smoke here that we'll add to the car hood and we'll track that as well. So first I'll add a screen blending mode, position it where I want it, and I'll actually pre-compose it so it's the same layer proportions as the source comp. So actually now I'll need to change the screen mode back again after I pre-comp it. So now jumping back to the main clip layer effect controls, I'll click on create track data again. And I'll use the same track data as the car details. And I'll apply the layer export to the smoke layer. And there you have it. 
So if you wanted to add more to this scene, you just create more track layers in Mocha AE and do the same thing. If you want to see more of my generative fill tutorials, check out some of the other videos linked below or on my channel. Hope this video helps your videos in the future. Thanks for watching. See you next time.